Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Otter, and today we are starting a new playthrough of Factorio. This is going to be a vanilla playthrough with zero mods, and the only goal that we have in this series is we are going to do 100% of the researchable technology in the game. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have a uh, map set ready to go. I just need to post the seed information and the seed information will be posted in the description down below for those of you who want to play along on the same map that I do uh, to see what you can do differently. Alright, so all of the frequencies are turned up to 150 percent except for uranium, the size, and the richness as well. The only adjustment in the terrain is we will not be playing with any cliffs and the scale of the trees and coverage of the trees is turned up just a touch. There will be enemy bases. This is not peaceful mode. Uh, I do have the starting size increased to 400 percent so give us a little bit of elbow room to get started. Uh, they will expand, they will evolve, and the research queue will always be available. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is Factorio Free Play. Task is to launch a rocket into space. Once we get to the point of launching a rocket, uh, we are going to continue on past that point, obviously just so that we can get all of the technology. My goal for this series is also to get at least two videos out a week, hopefully more, but we will uh, see how that goes. But there will be at least two. All right, we're gonna grab some, some stone right quick. I'm not really concerned too much about getting achievements. If they come, they will they'll come. That's great. I'm not going to uh, concern myself with uh, focusing on them right away. All right, so we got some. Uh, let's get this stuff here put on the hot bar. Oops. Let's grab this. Got some uh, stone furnaces. We got some burner miners. Let's put our coal so it's easily grabbable. Uh, what else do we need to be making? Um, let's go ahead and let's start with putting up some burner miners along here so that we can get some iron plates started. Hit Alt so that we can see what is in each uh, um, smelter. Alright, here's another one. can't reach for some reason. There we are. There we go. So now we're we're just really going to concern ourselves with uh, getting some iron production up and running. Uh, once we get that, once we get a few set up in there, then we will move on to setting up our coal. Alright, there's two more. Alright. Let's find does this big rock have any? It does not. There's some one down here that does though. And 
this one doesn't, but I already started digging it out, so we'll stick with that. Now I could cut down the trees to uh, use for fuel, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to stay away from wood as fuel unless it becomes an issue. Oops. All right, what do we got here? All right, there's three more coming in. Now let's put these on our coal patch to start mining up some coal. Let's, uh, let's dig out a piece to get that started. There. So now these those will mine us up some coal ever so wonderfully. So 12 pieces of coal, that's not too bad. I wish we had more, but. More iron plates, let's get. This is a this is going to be a pretty good start. So there's, let's also start looking at get, getting some uh, copper started. This, at this early in the game, it's really not that necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. I really should be focusing on stone. Because we will be needing more furnaces in a little bit. Yeah, there's a bunch of coal in there now. Let's uh, grab a little more. All right, next we're going to start on our boilers. and start getting some things done for power generation. Uh, I think that this right here will will work for our starting location. Uh, let's put this right here. You know what, I probably want there. Let's go grab some more coal. We're going to be running down here to get coal 
a lot. Uh, let's see. Five, six. We're going to need a lot more. Let's see about getting some more pipes made as well. And we also need, uh, we need some copper and some wood so that we can make some power poles. All right, let's put down some more coal miners. Let's do four. And then we will make some more iron productivity. Let's get some power poles set up here. Now we have some water going in there. There we are. Now that's set up correctly. Bring the power generation down here. Let's go ahead and make two uh, research labs because we need to start looking at what we are going to do for automation. For automation, we need 10 red science beakers. So we'll do 10, we'll do 20 because we'll do automation and optics first. All right, let's go get some copper plates. Getting a few more things made here. Why is okay? So this one's out. That is unfortunate. So we'll just take these down this way then. All right, so our labs are done. So let's go ahead and set them up we want uh, one there skip a space and put one there because we're going to put uh, we're still making we're going to put a box in the middle and then we'll put a inserter on either side to remove from the box to put into the labs to do our research course. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and start that even though we're not really going to be doing anything with it yet. 
because we're still making our science beakers. All right, coal is moving right along. That's great. Let's grab, oops, that's not what I wanted. There. That's topped up. This should be running just fine. Let's grab all these iron plates. The next thing we need is we need to start making some transport belts and some electric miners. We're going to jump straight into the electric age very quickly. All right, and you are out of resources to mine. That is awesome. You are going to mine. Oh, you're only going to do five. That's not really worth it. There. All right, so now we've got our box. It's going to go right here in the middle. We'll put the inserters right there. And now we need to get some electricity made. And we have electricity. Outstanding. All right, let's put our belts down here. And then let's see. Uh, let's run it right now. Let's run it right here beside the power poles. All right. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll put coal on the belt eventually, and then the coal will be brought up here and automatically inserted into our uh, boilers. All right, so now let's see here. We got our miners done, so let's get that going. Oh, we have now have automation out freaking standing. Uh, let's get just our three miners that we have here. Now you'll see a lot of people, a lot of players, um, set their miners up differently. And just like everything else in Factorio, there really is not a wrong way to do it as long as it works for you. Uh, obviously some ways are a little more efficient than others, but again, there's not really a right or wrong way as far as I, can, I am concerned. There. So now we have power to our miners and they realize they're digging up coal and putting it on the ground which they do not like. So now they're gonna put it on the belt, which we have run out of. Let's grab some of these. Our time with the burner miners is coming to an end very quickly. Which is awesome. All right, now let's uh, set up a couple assembly machines. And what we'll do is we will start um, getting things automatically made for us that we're going to need. All right, so now next we're going to need, um, let's go with logistics. That'll give us some underground belts and splitters. And let's get some turrets for those pesky biters that we will eventually face. All right, so now we have some assembly machines made. Let's put them down here on our bar. And let's start this one off right here. You're going to output into a box. Let's make a couple of those. Wrong button again. Uh, let's make, what do we need for miners? We need iron plates, gears, and circuits. Let's do this. Let's make uh, gears because we're going to use a lot of gears so now they're going to use the that uh, stack of iron 
and make it into as many gears as it possibly can handle. All right, so let's get another stack of coal there. Uh, let's get some more belts made as well. And while that's running, let's try and connect up. Yeah, we're running out very quickly. <laughs> belts do not last nearly as long as you want them to. So always make lots. Uh, let's see how many more iron plates we got ready for us. Probably a lot. Oops. All right. Yes, lots. So we're going to make lots more belts. All righty. Let's get this uh, going here. We're going to connect up these ends here. So now we will get coal flowing up to the top to our uh, boilers. Let's get a few more um, miners made. So now we have all of the iron. Let's get a couple more steam engines. We need those. Um, I think we're okay on power. I mean, we're definitely okay on power. We're not using a lot. We are creating 274 kilowatts, and we're using all 274 kilowatts. We have the potential to make a lot more than that. So, all right. Uh, are our boilers made yet? They are not. We are still working on electric mining drills. And here comes all that nice coal. All right, let's come down here and set up some more drills. Let's put our drills on our hotbar. There we go. So now we'll have quite a bit of coal on our belt ready for us to grab. So let's go ahead and take these up. Uh, we don't really need them anymore. If we need coal, we can just grab it off the belt. All right, let's make a box. This is our thank you for coming box. Let's put our burner miners in it. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, not those. I need those. Those are expensive. Shoot the box. And now it's gone. All righty. So now we should have a couple more steam engines ready to be placed. Uh, we need a, another pipe. Bam! So now we have, I mean, we're, we've, we're keeping up quite well with just this. This will uh, expand out quite a bit. Um, and it'll, it'll, everything will change and nothing will look like it does right now. All right, there's iron plates. There we go. Now we have a bunch of copper plates. All right, so the first thing we need to do is think about setting up a jump start base. This jump start base is just gonna be a temporary base that will produce everything that we need to start working on our actual base with our bus and power and all this. So let's go ahead and get that started. We're going to put down a blueprint. Uh, we're going to put it down right here uh, just because it's right close to our, our current power lines. I don't want to extend out our power lines too much anymore. 
All right, let's get our blueprints here um, and our jumpstart base. All right, this is not my blueprint. This is a blueprint that I find I'm <laughs> using quite a bit. Uh, this is by Nilaus. Uh, you can find him on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nilaus, and also YouTube. All right, so uh, here's our blueprint. We've got some coal that is going to be coming in, and we got iron on one end, copper on the other, and everything will be made as it is necessary. Okay, so we need to get our logistics set up. What do we need for logistics? Logistics takes 20 red circuit or red science bottles. So let's see how many of those we can make. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, because only because I really need the splitter. All right, but while that's working, let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Let's grab all those gears, all those plates, and let's start making more of those, start making more of those. Um, we also need a bunch of those. All right. There. Now we can start with our logistics. Let's see here, what does it take? It takes one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. So let's do this. Let's set that there. That there, you are gonna make red science. You need a bunch of copper plates. Uh, you need a bunch of iron plates. Let's go get you some more. That's just going to get you started. Oh, machine's in the way. All right, actually, let's go ahead and move this up here. You are going to make gears. Let's give you some power as well, I guess. Let's put those gears in there, Let's give you something to work on. And we need a, let's put a container right there. And then in this, we're gonna put a bunch of copper plates. So now that will be automatically fed as long as I keep this box and this assembly machine full of materials, it will make red science until all those materials are gone. All right, so let's go ahead and continue putting this stuff down. Again, this is just temporary. Once we get this up and running, this will make all of the items that we need to use in our Um, actual base. There we go. All right, and you can see right here on these icons which what each of these factories is going to be making. All right, so let's put in some. of these no right there okay let's all righty Uh, 
Uh, I was going to take those, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of these stone furnaces while they're being made. All right, so now we can make uh, underground belts and splitters. Awesome. Let's grab some copper because we need to make some circuits. And we'll grab some iron plates because we also need circuits. Make some splitters, make some undergrounds. Let's get our smelting array ready. Alright, that will work for now. It's not going to be, this is not the end all be all, obviously. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and get, um, let's see here, electronics. Let's get electronics started, uh, as well as logistics science packs. Alright, so let's start getting our iron ready to be mined. Oh, I forgot to put a space there. All right. Can we make any more? No, we cannot. That is quite all right. All right. Let's bring our splitters down here. And let's bring our undergrounds down here as well. Because we are definitely going to be using them here. Uh, we need more belts. That is all right. We will we will get to that point. The goal here is obviously to get everything as automated as we possibly can so that we don't have to hand make anything anymore. Uh, I think that's going to be it for splitters. We still need um, a bunch of uh, let's do this. Let's put in... We need a bunch of belts. Sorry, let me finish that that thought process. Uh, so let's get some more. Okay, you guys are done. That is quite alright. We're going to use you while we can. Let's get some belts made here. And while we're at it and while we have the materials, let's get some inserters made. All right, once we get this done, we're gonna go, actually while we have them, let's go ahead and put down our power poles in the base. All right, well, that's all the power poles we have for now. Can we make any more? We sure can. We'll add those to our queue. And that sounds like a good time or a good chance. Good spot. There we go. That's what I'm that's the word I'm looking for. Good spot to end the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in and saying hi. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos go live again. I'm going to try to make, to put out two videos a week. If you have any suggestions on what I can do better, what I need to change, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.